Thank you for attending today's session on Microsoft 365 Copilot, Embracing the Power of AI at Work. Last week, we talked about Copilot and the advantages it provides to customers. And this week, we'll be moving you through the customer journey, starting with a Microsoft 365 Copilot value discovery engagement, which Connection provides at no cost to customers. Our presenters today will be Karen Skapsky from Microsoft and Andrew Darrow from Connection. Following the fireside chat, we'll be playing a further in-depth walkthrough of the workshop presented by David Carey, our senior field solution architect at Connection and resident Microsoft 365 co-pilot expert. I'll now pass the floor over to Andrew and Karen to kick off the conversation. Thanks so much, Michaela. Today, we'll start out by looking at the co-pilot for M365 value discovery workshop. This workshop used to be called the co-pilot for M365 workshop but it's a great place to start, no matter where you're at in your AI journey. Whether you've already bought some Copilot licenses or you're still evaluating the purchase, this workshop can help you identify the value that Copilot for M365 brings, and it'll help you equip yourself with the information you need to take back to your leadership and increase the usage with your organization. This workshop is taught over three phases, the inspire phase, the assess phase, and the design phase. The Inspire phase starts with us taking a deep dive look at Copilot and how it works across the Microsoft 365 platform. From Word to Excel to PowerPoint to Teams, Copilot's there and it's got it all for you. The Assess phase is where we take a look at your M365 tenant security posture. We want to make sure that you're prepared to roll out Copilot for M365. We want to ensure that you have the proper security guardrail stood up, and that's why we're there with you and Long for that journey to make sure you're set. The design phase is where you come back to us with some scenarios you want to whiteboard with us that you say, hey, can Copilot help with this area? And we help map those functions to Copilot for M365 and help you plan out to help call, to make sure that Copilot can augment your day properly. With that, I'll turn it over to Karen. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Andrew. So like you said, a lot of our customers really want to implement Copilot for Microsoft 365, but they don't quite know how to articulate the business value to get buy-in. So this workshop is going to assist customers in analyzing, understanding, and communicating these advantages of Copilot as it relates to their business. And it's so beneficial to work with Microsoft partners like Connection as you adopt Copilot. We found with Copilot, just getting licenses and switching them on really hasn't been enough. So working with partners like Connection they bring loads of experience for working with different companies on rolling out Copilot, and they're going to make sure that you're getting the most out of it so that your investment in Copilot turns into real business benefits and lasting success. So, Andrew, what are some ways that Connection stands out from other Microsoft partners when it comes to this offering? Yeah, Karen, one of the ways that Connection stands out is our portfolio of services. We offer services across the entire Microsoft ecosystem from Azure to M365. We touch Copilot in all aspects from even new, the newest release of security for Copilot. We help customers realize the full potential of AI within their organization, be it standing up a chat bot on their website to enhancing the Copilot feature within their M365 ecosystem. Karen, what are some of the ways you've seen customers transform the way they work with Copilot for M365? Great, yeah. So uh, from our feedback from early Microsoft Copilot users was that Copilot made them more productive. It improved the quality of their work. It made them faster at writing documents and creating presentations, and it saved them time catching up on missed meetings. We found that the people who are using Copilot in their day-to-day -day work are saving on average 10 hours a month. But it's not just about more productivity. It's also about making work more enjoyable for people. I personally can't imagine working without Copilot now, and our survey results from the early access program showed the same. People, 77% of people uh, who responded to that survey wouldn't want to go back to working without Copilot. However, this amount of human change really needs skilling and training, and it needs to be reinforced on an ongoing basis. So we do that by building communities and communications around Copilot. One of the best things that you can do to drive adoption is to build a community of practice around Copilot. So whether that's in Viva Engage, Microsoft Teams, or somewhere else, create a place to generate excitement, share learning and best practices, and share your success stories. 
Another idea is to hold events like promptathons or have people show and tell how they're using Copilot. And this is going to keep the momentum going. It's going to make ongoing training the standard by encouraging peer-to-peer -peer learning and knowledge sharing. And it'll really maximize the value you get from Copilot for Microsoft 365. Because let's face it, like not everybody is going to be a pro at using Copilot off the bat. And it can take some practice before we find ways to make it work for us. Prompting requires a lot of creativity. It's kind of like being an artist, right? If you set two people down with canvases, blank canvases in the same set of paint colors, one person might be able to envision like the most beautiful landscape and paint that, but the other person might just stare at the blank canvas, not really know where to start. Same could be said for leveraging Copilot, and we know that. That's why Copilot has prompt suggestions, but they're pretty generalized and they can only take you so far. So companies who are sharing prompts and use cases internally are really taking it to the next level and it's encouraging people to keep at it. It's a new way of working. It takes some adjustment. Like how we all started, when we all started working in the cloud, for some of us, it felt like more work to collaborate in the cloud compared to just attaching files to email from our computers, sending them back and forth. But in time, we saw the benefits, but realized it actually saved us time in the long run and it improved our work. And the same can be said about Copilot. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's what we're seeing with a lot of our customers. Once they get Copilot, they don't want to let it go. And they want to see the potential that it really can bring to the, the spa their space. That's why they always come back to connection saying, what else can Copilot do for us? Is there a Copilot for this? Or is there a Copilot for that? We find out that they need help programmatically with their programmers and talk about Copilot for GitHub across the entire mm -hmm. spectrum with Microsoft within the Microsoft ecosystem. But to close this out, we wanted to thank everyone for taking the time to join our second webinar in the Copilot series. We hope this information was helpful to you. And next week, we'll be diving into additional services that Connection can provide to expand your usage of Copilot for M365. If you have any, any additional questions, please reach out to your Connection account manager or Jonathan Cantella. Thanks, everybody. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you, Karen and Andrew. Now we'll jump into the more in-depth walkthrough presented by David Carey. Hello, I'm David Carey, Field Solution Architect at Connection. Today, I want to talk about Copilot for Microsoft 365, the Copilot for Microsoft 365 workshop that Connection is offering to our customers, and what can be expected from the workshop. We'll start with a brief explanation of what Copilot for Microsoft 365 is, then we'll go over the Copilot for Microsoft 365 workshop and the details around it. Copilot for Microsoft 365 is an AI-powered assistant that helps you complete tasks quickly and effectively within the Microsoft 365 suite. You can simply enter a prompt with natural language, just as if you were asking another person, and Copilot will process your request and output the desired results. Copilot for Microsoft 365 integrates directly with your Microsoft 365 applications, allowing for a clean, seamless experience of accessing Copilot while working within the Microsoft 365 applications. Copilot for Microsoft 365 operates within the Microsoft 365 trust boundary, meaning that it is subject to Microsoft's same contractual commitments around privacy, security, and compliance as the rest of your Microsoft 365 services and data. One thing to note here, there are some uses of Copilot for Microsoft 365 where your data might leave the M365 trust boundary. How can you prepare for Copilot for Microsoft 365? You should start by making sure that your users are licensed with a supported base license, Ensure that you're using Microsoft Entry ID accounts for all of your users, and set the proper update channel for your Microsoft 365 applications. Copilot is currently available on any update channel except for the semi-annual enterprise channel. Now let's talk about the Copilot for Microsoft 365 workshop. This is something that we're offering to our qualified customers. The workshop's purpose is to help our customers kickstart their Copilot for Microsoft 365 journey and gain personalized direction provided by connection subject matter experts about how to start implementing and adopting Copilot for Microsoft 365. The workshop is about a six hour engagement and is comprised of three different phases. First, we have the assess phase. In the assess phase, we'll set the table for the structure of the engagement, which includes defining the scope, identifying the stakeholders, and agreeing on a set timeline for the sessions to come. Also in the assess phase, we'll complete the optimization assessment. The purpose of the optimization assessment is to identify areas for optimization in your Microsoft 365 environment so that you are as ready as possible to adopt Copilot for Microsoft 365. Next, we have the art of the possible. The art of the possible phase is all about showcasing the capabilities of, of Copilot for Microsoft 365. 
The sessions in this phase will show examples of how Copilot for Microsoft 365 works within each of the Microsoft 365 applications through a combination of presentations and demonstrations. Additionally, we'll cover some personas that are common across organizations, including how those personas could use Copilot for Microsoft 365 to enhance productivity or unlock creativity. For example, here is a day in the life of an executive from the Art of the Possible phase. In this example, Tanya uses Copilot for Microsoft 365 several times throughout her day to stay productive and accomplish her day-to-day -day tasks while preparing for an important upcoming speech. Lastly, we have the Build the Plan phase. This phase is very interactive. We start by working with you to identify real job roles within your organization and what tasks those job roles perform within the productivity suite. For example, an HR recruiter might write job descriptions or review meeting notes with candidates. From there, we document any pain points that might be associated with performing those tasks and help map Copilot for Microsoft 365 use cases to those pain points. We then help you develop a plan to implement those scenarios. Here's an excerpt from the build the plan phase of the workshop. In this slide, we work to identify specific tasks that are performed by various roles in the organization. Here, we have also documented challenges or pain points that are associated with those tasks. From here, we will align Copilot use cases to these challenges or pain points and then finish building the plan of how to bring those use cases to fruition. As a result of the workshop, you should walk away with guidance on improving your Microsoft 365 infrastructure to support the use of Copilot for Microsoft 365, an understanding of what is possible with Copilot for Microsoft 365, an actionable, high-level plan to implement Copilot for Microsoft 365 for the identified use cases, and support from the connection team for any aspects of your plan, including, but not limited to, licensing and or professional services. We'll wrap up today with a few commonly asked questions, and then we'll continue to take questions live in the Q&A module as well. The first question is, does a customer need to meet any prerequisites to attend the workshop? The customer does have to meet some qualifications in order to be eligible, they need to have a minimum of 250 Microsoft 365 users. They can be M365 or O365 licensed users. They need to be using Microsoft Entra ID, which is formerly known as Azure AD. A hybrid or Entra ID only environment is fine. And they also need to be willing to invest six hours into the engagement, including key business stakeholders. This last part is key because the workshop relies on interaction from users of the technology as well as their leadership. The next question is, how can the customer prepare for the workshop, individually and within their organization? A couple things they can do. One, work with your internal business-facing teams to identify potential use cases for Copilot for Microsoft 365. Identify stakeholders that align to those use cases as well. Also, they should think about reviewing their current data governance and security posture and be prepared to talk about their current efforts and tools in that space. And the last question is, if a customer is interested in attending the workshop, how can they sign up? They can start by simply contacting their account manager, and their account manager will get the right resources involved to get the ball rolling. So this will conclude the video portion of our presentation, but we'll continue to take the questions in the Q&A module as well. Thank you for attending our live session today, and we're looking forward to building an AI future for our customers using Copilot for Microsoft 365.